Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 3 with Haley. And I have been doing my homework, reading you guys' feedback, and we are ready to go. All right, so we got a busy episode here. Let's go ahead and jump right in. First off, let me give some shout outs to people that, again, you guys tell me what, what I need to do or what I'm doing wrong. Uh, first off, Gamer of the Undead, you have been awesome in giving your feedback. You have mentioned, uh, I kind of briefly went over talking about the combustion quest line. Uh, I don't remember if it wasn't open earlier, but it is open. So I'm, apparently I need to do this quickly. <laughs> so we are going to work through that today. Uh, also, both you and Esmeralda mentioned that the... Um, our guidebook here is really what I need to focus on. And so we're currently in stage two. So we're going to, which is weird because it said stage one there. I don't know. But uh, all the information here is going to tell me what I need to be focusing on. So I guess the stuff down here is for stage two. So I'm really going to be using this as well. As you said, there's a page uh, for every quest on basic resources. So even the combustion uh, was here. Combustion, well, combustion heaters, I guess that's what it is, and casings and all that stuff. So we're going to use all these pages here and hopefully get that up and running today so we can get our basic resources. Uh, to actually quote, he said this is basically like the uh, substitute for ex Nix Helio for most skyblocks. So we're going to get into that today. Um, now, he also mentioned that maybe I need to check my game difficulty because uh, I am getting mobs now. See, there's a... I actually got... What was this thing from Embers? Uh, oh, I got the mobs dropped down here. Um, but I got the some Embers mobs and then we had some, uh, some just really interesting... Um, you know, like in Sky Factory, how they have like the YouTubers. Um, yeah, that's like we have JSL in there and we have some other people. So I've been getting mobs. I haven't checked my difficulty. Uh, I really like this little claw uh, that I got from the Spiky Claws. It does so much damage. And um, and I'm pretty sure that the zomb all these different charms here are keeping me hidden from everybody. Uh, it looks like they do have durability on them. So that's going to be, uh, well, did that? durability drop i don't know maybe i haven't come across any spiders but um yeah i have been getting mobs i haven't upped the difficulty yet i'm actually going to check that here after i kind of just knock these guys out so let's go and kill these come on there we go <laughs> And uh, let's go ahead and drop that in there. Now, uh, I, nothing popped up just now. Ooh, confusing power. Cool. Uh, but uh, we're going to check myself here for F5. I have a hat. <laughs> there are hat mobs in this. So as I've been killing guys, I've been kind of getting different hats. We have the Jock Jock hat, the Kiara anvil, and the hot dog hat. So I like the Kiara one. It's kind of cute. Little box. A little fox or puppy up there. It's kind of cute. So we're going to go ahead and get that. Let's go ahead. Oops. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> All right, so I got that going. I got my mob drop set there. Let me just check and see what my difficulty level is set. Uh, difficulty is set for normal. So uh, I could make it harder if I wanted to or easy, but normal seemed to work. It was just weird that I wasn't getting a lot of mobs all of a sudden. And then as soon as I stopped recording, bam, there was like seven mobs in there. So that actually worked out pretty well. Um, let me go ahead and keep going here. Donnie uh, M had mentioned that, hey, you remember that question? Quest that you skipped over like the first one here let's go back to basic resources plant matter i really should do that because <laughs> this hacks is bone meal uh of course what it says is if you could twerk or sprint so i'm pretty sure this is in the resources here plant matter let me go ahead and look this up plant Oops. well maybe it should be here let's go back maybe it's in stage one uh the basics uh or maybe i can look in jei tell me how to do plant matter plant matter there we go um Okay, so plant matter is just made from five saplings. It'll get you three plant matter. So we should be able to get that because I got a bunch of saplings today. And it just wants me to get one. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do that and get our loot chest here. Um, it said I can also use, um, I think, shears on my trees because I think leaves is another one. Yeah, so leaves will get you as well. So let's see if we can make some easy shears here. Uh, is wooden shears an option? Oh, clay shears. I can make clay shears. So that's going to be, uh, unfired clay shears. Just two pieces of clay. So that's actually going to come in handy. So we'll do that. Uh, I can also make fishing rods, which is also another quest. <laughs> so we're going through the quest book. It's just not going as fast, I guess, as, uh, you guys, you guys know which quests are going to be helpful. So we'll go ahead and get that made as well. Um, okay. So we're going to move on to Esmeralda. Esmeralda has been giving me a lot of feedback as well. Hi, Esmeralda. Uh, she mentioned, oh, she was asking if, if pumpkins can grow on coarse dirt um pumpkins basically when i 
when I um, used my uh, gardening tool on the coarse dirt, it turned into regular dirt, and then I tilled it again, and I got farmland. So the way pumpkins work, you know, they grow up to a certain stock, and then they they can just kind of spill over into anything here. I have gotten several pumpkins actually. Um, I've gotten that one, one there, and we remade our little pumpkin guy here. Hi, he's back, <laughs> and I went ahead and filled everything in. So yeah, I'm gonna make sure I'm really careful with the water. So yes, pumpkins can grow not technically on coarse dirt but it spills over to whatever block you have there so like i've had stone on the sides before or wood i have found on the side before so yes pumpkins can grow on the dirt uh she also gave me a the great reminder that i can actually get moss from um let me show you this real quick um from um let's see if I just have mossy cobblestone and you can actually get mossy stone, which is another option. Where is it at? Mossy stone. I know I've seen it. Um, from chiseling. Yes. So I got to chisel stone and turn it into mossy stone. That went back kind of fast. Guys, hopefully you didn't miss that. So if I have stone, I can actually get mossy stone and I can turn that mossy stone into ready to go. There it is, a ball of moss. So that's how we're going to get our moss uh, once we actually can get stone, <laughs> which we haven't gotten yet. Uh, and then a chisel, of course, I'm going to need some iron, but we're going to get those resources here coming up. Okay. Whew. All right, guys. Oh, and one other thing. I'm surprised you guys did not yell at me on this, but um, I made item racks instead of drawing racks before. Uh, so I yelled at myself. Don't worry. I know you guys didn't yell at me. I yelled at myself plenty about that. But yes, I got my drying racks up here so we can go ahead and actually complete this quest because we've got all of our monster jerky ready to go. And uh, we're going to need to eat some of this because I am starving. Uh, let's go ahead and claim the quest because I'm a little worried um, about something. I'm going to show you that real quick. Let's go ahead and basic tinkering. Let's complete that. And it gives us a loot chest. Now, I'm going to go ahead and eat one of these because what I'm worried about is I think we have spice of life. And this says not eaten yet. So uh, what I'm afraid is, let me go ahead and eat this and see how many how many times I can eat it before it gets all weird. Oh, it's eating assisted and not eating hard. Oh, okay, good. So it's not spice of life. All right, we're going to eat all this <laughs> because I'm starving. Um, for guys that don't know what spice of life is, it means that every time you eat a certain food, you get diminished returns. Or maybe we do have something like spice of life. But anyway, I don't have to worry about that. So I can eat all the jerkies I want to my heart's content. Okay. Now <laughs> that we've talked this whole time, let's get in this quest book and let's get this combustion engine up and going. Um, actually, you know what? Just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and make this um, this plant matter because I want to get that other pumpkin to grow. So I'm gonna take these five saplings here, and let's get uh, let's see if we can go ahead and get the plant matter going. There we go, and get that quest complete. There we go. Uh, I like just completing easy quests if I can. So let's go ahead and claim that. And and so we've got these few quests here open right now. Combustion engine. Let's go ahead and make, we need to make a wooden casing, a wooden combustion heater, and a button. So this is the basic combustion engine. I've seen this used before and I'm really not sure if I'm gonna set it up correctly, uh, but we'll read through the sky resources and to tell us how to get it set up. It's a multi-block structure. So let's go ahead and get all the things we need. So we need a wooden casing. Let's just, uh, I, I claimed it, stop yelling at me. Okay, uh, wooden casing here, let me fix something here sorry sorry for the noise in the background i've got papers and bags in front of me uh wooden casing there we go all right so this is just made from regular wall raw wood and wooden gear wooden gear is can i click on it there we go wooden gear is just made from some logs and a stick or planks and a stick was, was that the option on there uh let's find out planks and a stick should get me Get in there. A wooden gear. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and surround that by our logs. And we got our wooden casing. Ta da! <laughs> All right. So, what's the next thing we actually need to make is the combustion heater. Uh, let's go ahead and put, just put a heater here. And there we go. So, that's just going to be some logs and a wooden heat component. And a wooden heat component is just planks surrounded by gunpowder. And I believe I have some gunpowder. I think I put it over here in the mob drops. Uh, the gunpowder from um, our, our creepers that have been uh, over here. And luckily, again, since I've had these charms, I haven't had to worry about. Again, I don't know if it's from the mob farm that they can't see me. 
Hi, uh, zombie villager. Can I just... Yeah, can I? Thank you. Ooh. It can be good stuff. Ooh, we got some more uh, zombie jerky, so let's go ahead and dry that up. Uh, we do have some gunpowder, so let's go ahead and get that set up. And I need to go ahead and use my plant matter on that pumpkin. I want to get a bunch of pumpkins... Um, just because I think it's going to be a good source of food um, or at least is used in all the different food items. Now, I don't know if you guys saw with the jerky, if it said, yeah, well, it doesn't say right now, but there is, um, when you first log into the pack, it gives you all these little tips. And one of the tips that says for every 50, um, there we go. Okay, that one's gone. Uh, for every 50 different types of food that you eat, you get an extra heart, something like that. So we're going to try to get all these different types of food. Let's go ahead and make what we were making before. Let's put the gunpowder, surround it. Was it by logs? I'm pretty sure it was by logs. No, it was by planks. Focus, Haley, focus. Oop. All right, let's go ahead and get it was surrounded by planks. And put the gunpowder in there and we get the wooden heat component and we take the wooden heat component and surround that by the logs. There we go. And we get our combustion heater. Then we need to make a button. <laughs> Got a button. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and claim that quest. Uh, or there we go. Uh, questy. And it's going to give us another loot chest. We're getting a lot of loot chests. We're going to be opening up here pretty soon. Um, now, did that open up anything for us? Oh, yeah, open up lava. Ooh, blaze powder block and a torch. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this set up. So um, let's go into the guidebook, and it talks about the combustion heaters, I guess. So combustion heaters are used in the casings. Okay, uh, look further down for the multi-block setup. Okay, crafting process. Make sure the structure is valid. Drop items inside of the structure above the heater and make sure the ratio of the items is the same. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then you push the button on the heater and boom, it works basically. To set up the combustion heater as a multi-block, uh, check the design as shown here. I guess I'll click here. When, um, okay, so, oh, okay. So we put the casing on the bottom, put a button on the casing, and I guess... Where, where does the heater go? It's got just the planks on it. Huh. Let's go back here. Wooden combustion heater. Oh, okay, I made that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do what... Now, this is what the picture says. So, if, if it's wrong, guys, blame the picture. All right, so let's put that there. We put a button... So shift clicking on there and then we're going to put planks around it that's again what the picture shows it's a weird um, looking picture all right so i'm going to need to put uh and i'm just setting that right there and right now for setup so let's go around this way i'm gonna probably end up blocking myself in and there i need to make an axe do I have an axe on me? Okay, got we got a gardening tool, but not an axe. All right, let's go ahead and get, uh, let's turn that back into, well, that didn't work. Uh, let me go ahead and, good grief, click in the right spot. I didn't, I guess I grabbed it. All right, let's go ahead and grab uh, this and this. There we go. Now I've got an axe, and I'm pretty sure I can use that. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and trim around the edges here. Don't use vein matter. All right, got that one and that one and this one here. All right, now then according to this, I stick another one on top. So let me check this again, guidebook. Um, scroll down to the multi-block, let's see. Let's see, the, the first item you'll probably use, place a heater inside the casing Oh, place the heater inside the casing after that. Note the variance and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, let's put this here. And you go here. All right. Now it says put the heater inside the casing. And we're going to test this out because one of the things that, uh, you know, we're trying to figure out how to make, oh, I didn't mean to do that, uh, how to make was dirt. Uh, okay, come on. Let's see. Focus. And... Now, this is just like the picture. Now, it says I put the heater inside the casing. There we go. Oh, okay. Uh, now, how does this thing work? Let's go back to the guidebook. All right. So, uh, do, 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 do. Now, I think if I... There we go. Okay. So, when I right-click on it, it kind of tells you what's going on in there. Um, it's no heat in it right now. So, let's go ahead and scroll back down here. Uh, 
Place the heater inside that note. All variants use a structure. Different variants of the heater use different fuels. Effect fuels. Are, yeah. um, so this requires some kind of fuel. When building your structure, make sure the blocks are valid. The requirements for all of the blocks inside. The wooden combustion heater allows for wooden and glass blocks to be used. Also works with oak trap doors. Oh, huh? <laughs> Okay, so there's stone, there's wood, and all this other fancy stuff. Okay, so we got a basic one going. Did I claim the quest? Please tell me I already got that quest claim. Yes, okay, good. Um, okay, so one of the things that... I'm kind of looking the way the lines are going here. Uh, let's see, blaze power block. Uh, powder, blaze, blaze powder block. So I wonder if that's from the combustion heater as well. Let's read the quest. Um, come on, let's go back there. Uh, now you can make blaze powder. You can craft it in a, into a block and place it above a torch to obtain lava. Melting it could take a few minutes, but if you're lucky, uh, even it'll only take a few seconds. Okay. okay. Uh, let's go ahead and look how to make this blaze powder block. Okay. So that's just made from four blaze powders and blaze powder. I'm guessing it's going to be made in the combustion heater. There it is. All right. So I'll just put gunpowder in there and it heats up to, um, okay. So one gunpowder will turn into three blaze powder. So don't do my gunpowder. Don't leave it down there. I guess I'll put it down there. I am so, uh, well, I mean, it's a mob drop. So I kind of want to keep it in. Ooh, intervent. <laughs> All right, let's go down here and get some blaze powder. You know, let me go ahead and smack this enderman around. I'm trying to, ender pearls are something that I'm just so used to being rare. So whenever I can try to get them, I try to. Ooh, got a hat. <laughs> and come here, zombie. Give me some more of your flesh. Give me, give me some more of your, your, your skin. Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's just take the rest of this gunpowder uh, back up here. Let me put, uh, I didn't get any cool drops there. Oh, let me grab these loot bags. We're almost at the end of the episode. And as we do in all of the end of the episodes, we're going to open loot bags and loot chests and see what goodies we actually get. All right, so let's see if we can get this set up. And the only thing I'm not sure about is, um, I put these all up here, is the, it said um, fuel. So, okay, that must dry. Um, so um, I don't know if I need to put wood or coal in it. I'm guessing so. All right, but let's go ahead and put, let's just do one right now. Because I know one turns into three. Um, nothing's heating. Oh, push the button. Okay, stand back. I push the button. Okay. Um, push the button. Am I supposed to drop something in there? Because I've seen this work and it's kind of weird. Uh, let me go back to the guidebook. Hang on. Uh, G for guide. And let's see. Does it tell me? Casings. Combustion heaters. Oh, heat providers. Condensers. Cool. Uh, let's keep going. Let me see. Crafting process. Make sure the structure is valid. Drop items inside the structure. Oh, Oh, okay. So this requires, let me see. I think I put wood in here to heat it up. Oh, there we go. Okay. So wood goes in there to heat it up. And then I drop items in here. Let's see. How's that? Do I need to keep this up here? To always have something to be able to put in there. Um, okay. So I'm going to drop. Now, from what I understand, though, the, oh, okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. I don't want to get hot. Okay. Now, oh. Okay, there we go. Uh, from what I understand that I lose heat when I have it open like this. So I have to kind of be, uh, I guess, conservative in a way. But let's go ahead and drop this in here. And then we're going to cover it up. And then we're going to put some wood in there to heat it up. All right. And then do I make a boom now? Make a boom. Ooh, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and where, where did it go? Is it, is it in there? Is it... Um, Oh, I got it. Okay, so we got three of those. So let's do it one more time real quick and complete this quest to get that uh, that blaze rod. Okay, so we're going to drop the gunpowder in here. We're going to cover it up. And then we're going to put a piece of wooden planks in there. So you see it had heat in there before. Um, apparently, like I said, when I actually uh, open it up, it loses heat. And that's only from the wooden one. I think the more advanced ones. Boom. There we go. Um see now how do I get it Where, where's it there it is okay I think the more advanced ones actually don't lose it so let's go ahead and craft this and we're going to turn this into 
the blaze powder block and that should complete that quest there we go and let's go and get another loot chest all right so uh we got just about five seconds here literally <laughs> let's go ahead and open our loot bags and see what we got get our loot chest open up here and see what goodies we got to go all right so let's go ahead and open up our our basic uh loot bag we got Blue, uh, blue room, mana steel. Wow. Okay, that's gonna be awesome for Batania. Plus control. Oh, that's new. <laughs> we'll find out what that's going on. Um, oh, a, a loot case and res some restricted item. I guess that's a rune. Spider's eyes, all that stuff. So that's cool. Good stuff. Um, oh, and go ahead and take all the stuff out there. All right. Uh, the next common loot bag we got. Black quartz, another restricted item, and some wheat. Ooh, some wheat. It's going to come in handy. And this is our uncommon loot bag. We got, oh, Alexa Batania. See, that looks really new. I'm kind of excited about Batania. Some torches, gunpowders, rails, and, oh, black lotus. All right. Our last uh, loot bag we got here. This is an epic loot bag. We got a gold horse armor. Oh, and some more pumpkin seeds. Yes, pumpkin seeds. All right. Let's go ahead and empty this into our, our chest here, and then we'll get our loot crates. Um... We got our loot crates up here and going. And I'm, I'll go ahead and see what the weapon, um, rare, rare, what is that? Rare weapon, rare weapon thing. Okay, let's get the uh, loot crate, loot chest, uh, a leaf blower. Okay, cool. <laughs> Don't have any leaves on here. Uh, oh, a secret donut. Oh, I cannot, you cannot comprehend this donut. All right, uh, we're going to save that. It's probably going to give us a lot of food. Uh, a pebble okay thanks for the pebble and we got oh menthol torches okay those are so cool because menthol torches um they're like regular torches but you know actually the menthol berries would have been the cooler part but we got extra torches here and last we're going to open up our rare mega loot case oh oh sweet look at that mega blade it does nine uh, i guess nine out of 13 nine damage uh wow that is going to be an awesome sword uh much better than the sword we had our um spikes here only do six damage this thing does nine damage durability that's a 585 durability and uh withers one enemy for one second on hit poison if, oh, wow this is a cool blade i must be kind of excited all right well let's go ahead and end the episode we have done a lot again thank you guys for your feedback continue providing that feedback tell me how to play this game so i don't look too much like an idiot and see our pumpkins grow yeah we got pumpkins yeah we got more pumpkins all right so uh thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode and are enjoying the series if you have any questions comments concerns tips tricks techniques or just want to say hi leave that comment down below your feedback is what's keeping me going right now uh if you're new to my channel feel free to go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes come out also consider following me over on twitter and twitch and say hi to doggy <laughs> If you want to uh, be notified when I go live, I do stream live with the squad on the weekends, Fridays and Saturdays, that is, and stream with some friends on Sunday. Uh, speaking of Saturday squad stream, if you want to play with me as well as the other squads, squad members, sorry, consider becoming a Patreon. I have my Patreon link listed down below in the description field and all the different tiers and rewards there are shown. So, you know, consider that as an option. Uh, if you're looking for a server to play on, be sure to head on over to aim to game We have coupon codes in the description field to help you save some money if you want to kind of go ahead and do that that will be awesome uh they are a great hosting service we use it for all of our multi uh multiplayer wow you are loud <laughs> all of our multiplayer series so definitely consider uh that and i think that's all i have to say for right now guys you are all totally awesome thank you so much for hanging out with me and until next time i will talk to y'all later have a good one guys bye